Welcome to the Carnival Sunshine. We're going to tour this ship from the top down. There are 12 decks and room enough for 3,000 passengers. I like to start at the top of the ship, so that's where we're headed, to deck 14, and this is the Adults Only Serenity Lounge. This Adults Only area is very unique, as there are three different levels, with a bar, a hot tub, a pool, and of course, plenty of loungers. Deck 14 and deck 12 face the pool area down on deck 11. It's really nice that they have three decks for Serenity. Let's go check out deck 11. This is where you have the pool and the waterfall. Sometimes they have a movie playing, which is kind of neat. You can watch it right here from Serenity. All right, we're gonna head down to deck 10. And just inside underneath Serenity is the spa and fitness center. They have multiple treatment rooms and spa rooms. And of course, there's a large gym. Outside on deck 10, you're gonna find a walkway that overlooks the pool and that goes all the way to the back of the ship. We're gonna head back to deck 11, and this is where we're gonna find the jogging track. Inside the jogging track, you're gonna find a lot of different types of games, like shuffleboard and tic-tac-toe and chess, and of course, foosball or tennis. And there's a golf course, and a ropes course, and a sports court. Up on the mini golf course, you're going to find a mini whale tail, so a little mini me. Back on deck 11, at the back of the ship, you're going to find it overlooks the slides, and that's where we're headed next. All right, we're back on deck 10 at the back of the ship. There are multiple slides and two of them you can actually race your friend and find out who wins and who's the fastest on the slides. There's also a kitty slide and splash area. And at the back of the ship on deck 10, you're also gonna find the kids clubs and the teen club. All right, let's head towards the middle of the ship where you can overlook the main pool area. The main pool area on deck nine has the pool and of course there are two hot tubs, which are really nice. You do have some fun bars. And there are a couple food options. You have Blue Guana Cantina, which is burritos and tacos and Guy's Burgers. Inside on deck nine is the buffet, and you're gonna find multiple stations with food and beverages. However, there's only one side of the whole area which has food, so it can get kind of busy, but they do have a pizza place and they do have a deli, which is really nice. At the very back of the ship on deck nine is Cucina del Capitano, which is the pasta place free for lunch, and there's a charge for dinner and also Gigi's, which is an Asian restaurant. And of course, the Havana Bar. This is actually a really nice area. I appreciate the space back here. And there's a great view of the aft of the ship. Right at the Havana Bar, you're gonna find some small bites of Cuban food. So you can just grab and go. Index 876 are just 
for cabin, so we're gonna head to deck five. And this is the atrium. It's three levels where you can see the bar down at the middle. And they do have some performances that play music throughout the day. There are a few shops and also a sports bar and the arcade here up on five surrounding the atrium. And at the very end on deck five, you're gonna find Liquid Lounge, which is the main theater. They have performances here and a lot of different activities. And this theater is only on deck five and deck four. And back on deck five, there's a hallway from the atrium to the Sunshine Casino and the rest of the promenade. Let's take a look at the casino. And from the casino, continuing on the promenade on deck five, you're gonna find the coffee shop and Ocean Plaza, which is where they do a lot of different trivia. And of course, Alchemy Bar and Red Frog Pub. And down on deck four, coming from the theater, you're gonna find the atrium and of course, the photo center for all the photos and the library. And also on deck four is the mezzanine, which is the hallway to the piano bar, the steakhouse, bonsai sushi, and the limelight lounge. And deck three with the atrium and some seats. There's guest services and shore excursions. And one of my favorites, access to outside where there are some chairs and it's a great view overlooking the ocean. And lastly, the Sunset Restaurant, which is one of the main dining rooms. And lastly, an Ocean View Cabin. This is a very spacious and comfortable room. It's nice to have a window and of course, plenty of places to put your things. It would really have been nice to have a USB port by the bed, but overall it was a very comfortable room.
And that concludes my tour of the Carnival Sunshine. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you soon.